So this completely went under the radar yesterday. And I say yesterday, this happened yesterday. But I didn't see anybody talking about it. It wasn't posted about anywhere. So we're going over the entire report here one day late. I hope you can forgive me for that. But yesterday we had ourselves the news that the Canucks are getting themselves a new prospect. Abbotsford Canucks GM Ryan Johnson announced yesterday that the AHL team has signed defenseman Joe Arnson to a one-year AHL contract for the 2024-2025 season. He'll also be joining the club yesterday on an ATO. And included is a very nice graphic here. Joe Arnson, captain of the Lethbridge Hurricanes in the WHL, has signed a one-year AHL deal, which will take him till the end of next season, while also joining the Abbey Canucks this season on an ATO. This is a pretty interesting move, and not for the reason that you might expect, because if you go over to Joe Arnson and his overall Elite Prospects page, he doesn't even have a picture. That's how quote-unquote obscure you can say he is. Arnson is 20 years old. May 22, 2003 is the birth date from Swift Current, Saskatchewan. He's from Saskia, baby. 6'3", 212 as a left-handed defenseman. The thing is, if you go out there and just look at the point production, you may be a little bit disappointed. Because Joe Arnson actually was a very particularly good point producer in his first season of WHL play. He had 37 points in 68 games played, but the seasons after, as the captain of the team, he actually produced fewer and fewer points. He had 24 points in 66 games played this season with the Hurricanes, which is quite notable because if you look at their point production, there were quite a few defensemen actually that outproduced Arnsen this season. He was 10th on the team in points. Tristan Doyle had more points. So did Logan McCutcheon. No Chadwick also had more points than this guy too, so that's three defensemen on this team that went out there and outproduced the captain. But even though Arnson may not be coming out here with the most flashy point production out of the bunch, he still is a guy that is worth talking about. And all you gotta do is take a look at the track record. The past few years have seen Arnson actually join various NHL team rookie camps. He was a part of the New York Rangers rookie camp, as well as the Carolina Hurricanes camp, but he ultimately did not end up signing with those teams. The Vancouver Canucks are not necessarily signing him either, as he is signing only with the Abbotsford Canucks. But as we have seen in various Canucks stories throughout the past few years, just signing with the AHL team and getting your foot in the door is a good enough stepping stone to put your name in the spotlight and to potentially get more eyes on you. We've seen guys who have signed AHL deals and who have been notable NHL conversations like Alex Burrows, for example. You have Yushiro Hirano from a few years ago. Everybody was talking about him as a potential Canuck signee. Joe Arnson is a player who brings quite a few intangibles that might put him in that conversation too. Some of the replies go out there and tell it so. This guy is as heart and soul as you can find, David says. I watched him lead the Lethbridge Hurricanes as team captain for many years, and he'll make it tough for opponents night after night. Great signing by Abbotsford here. Ben goes out there and asks D Forbes 91, Dustin Forbes, the play-by-play -play commentator of the Hurricanes, your thoughts? What is Abbotsford getting? Dustin goes out there and says, yeah, first, he is one of the best human beings you'll ever meet. Heart and soul guy who will play strong and heavy while standing up for his teammates. Good penalty killer and a cannon of a shot. Great leader and well-liked by media, coaches, and teammates. He's a really good interview as well. Dustin also said that he's super happy for Joe Arnston. The contract is an AEO for the rest of the season and a one-way AHL deal for the next. The WHL team also tweeted this out and there's a whole bunch of support here. Go get it, get her done. A lot of people are super happy to see this. And if you go out there and read the article, it goes out there and talks a little bit about the accolades here. How Arnson, 20 years old, was originally drafted by the Hurricanes in the second round of the 2018 WHL Prospects draft. The 6-3-2-11 defenseman finished 10th all-time in games played in Hurricanes history while finishing 9th all-time amongst rear guard scoring. He was named a two-time recipient of the Herman Elfring Community Relations Award in 23 and 24 and the Hurricanes' top defenseman 2023 during his WHL career. He served as the Canes' captain for three seasons, matching Brent Seabrook as the only three-year captain in Hurricanes' history. Three seasons, interesting. On Elite Prospects, it only says two, so maybe there was an extra year here that was missing. But I mean, I doubt that the Lethbridge Hurricanes website themselves would get this information wrong. Arnson will report to Abbotsford to join the Canucks for the remainder of the 23-24 season, and then they promote their season tickets for 2024-2025. 
So Joe Arnson is a really interesting name. And if you wanted to go out there and read some of the extra stuff about him, this is a Hockey Forums board post from June of 2022. So two years ago, they were asking the question, who are some of the toughest prospects in the 2022 NHL draft? And Joe Arnson's name did make an appearance here. The toughest WHL player available in the 2022 draft, and I can't imagine there are too many tougher in other leagues, is Joe Arnson of the Lethbridge Hurricanes. He's an 03 re-entry who fell through the COVID cracks last year and has had a really nice breakout season this year, and I'm amazed he doesn't seem to be ranked by any of the scouting services. 6'2 defender, 200 pounds, who really broke out offensively getting 37 points, but 30 of those came in his final 45 games and he was getting power play reps for Lethbridge. His skating isn't great, but there are definitely some things to work with there, and he's absolutely tough as nails. I think he should go somewhere in the fourth or fifth round range. Now, based off of the scouting profile here, I mean, he did not end up getting drafted in the 2022 draft when he was initially eligible, but the fact that he did go through an entire weird season in 2020-2021 with the COVID shutdowns and everything, eventually becoming a power play quarterback and a defensively minded tough as nails kind of defender, it really bodes well to acknowledge his versatility because when it comes to power play, when it comes to producing offensively, he does have that in him. It's just this season you could debate that he wasn't really utilized in that role. But he became more of a defensive presence. He started focusing more so on being just difficult to move around, standing up for his teammates, being a leader on the ice and off the ice. And overall, it seems that this is a very well-liked hockey player that is making himself known in the Canucks organization now. He is only 20, so there is room for him to grow and potentially max out some of his defensive physical stats. Maybe if Arnson gets one NHL game sometime in the next few years, that could be seen as a pretty big win. Obviously, AHL signee free agents aren't necessarily like the biggest deals in the world, but I did find it interesting that one of the most beloved captains in the WHL, super tough as nails, heart and soul kind of guy, who has really bolstered that respect for himself in the WHL, is now putting himself in Vancouver's prospect system, albeit in a limited role with the Abbotsford Canucks and not the main Vancouver Canucks. So we'll see what happens here. Ryan Johnson, of course, has done a pretty good job in terms of scouting guys for his AHL team. And Joe Arnson, WHL captain, is now a part of that group. So we'll see where exactly he's able to fit in with the rest of this defense core in Abbotsford. There are quite a few guys that are rotating around that have been pretty noteworthy. Of course, the Jet Woos of the world, him improving his stock is pretty great. Christian Willanen has always been pretty all right. Matt Irwin, Cole McWard, some of these guys that we've been used to seeing, but now they're getting themselves another guy to bolster up their team, and he's only 20. So we'll see what Joe Arnson is able to do as his career with the Canucks goes on. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the Abbey team signing this player to a one-year AHL contract that starts next season. I hope you enjoyed this video. Show us 99 and bye.